Well, good morning, everybody. My name is William Dunn, and we are here today. We're going to be doing a harbor scene. It's not exactly a harbor, but it's a boat yard up in Marshall, which is up in North County, <clears throat> north of San Francisco. And <clears throat> the main thrust today is how to take this photograph, which isn't a great photograph. It's okay. <clears throat> and make it into something good so that it's a, a nice, suitable watercolor for us today. I'm not going to put in this fence. The cars here, I don't think we're going to have. The garbage bin, some of this material doesn't need to be there. It's not very attractive, so it's going to go away. Um, I do like the house. I like the boat. I like this boat. I like the lines. I like the mass of the other boats sitting around. And there is some water in the background here. And um, this is going to be a nice little painting. There's a little bit of foliage in the background. And always, when I'm doing a painting, I feel like I'm not worried about reproducing this photograph. That isn't what it's about. It's about making a nice painting and using this as a guide. I don't really want to have the house in the middle of the painting. It doesn't look good to have a dead center. So I might put the house off to the left a little bit. That'll leave more space for this boat. These are all fishing boats, of course. That's a sailboat, pleasure boat. And this building, it gives me a little guide. It gives me a way to put something in the space here. I've done it a little differently. I've, I've made this bigger. So more boats back here. Little cabin. So I'll go in here. I want to keep the ability to make this mass light colored, probably aluminum. It's metal. It's not really there, but I'm putting it in, of course. So something like this. It's going to be rocks and pebbles and dirt and things out here. So that's just going to be a texture. And we can do some things with this. And we'll see if I can do it right here. My brush is kind of wet. But if I pull the brush, the roughness is going to leave little areas. Can you see that texture? I like that. So, I could start with some ochre here, which I've got. I'm going to add this chromium of oxide to it. And that's not a bad color. So let's let that be some of this starting tree color. Okay. The trees, of course, get light the top and then shadows on the bottom so you can paint that quite effectively and it's not very much trouble quite easy to do 